Today I'm catching up with Tony Angela, the owner and head trainer here at City Liga. And you didn't just walk into this job, you did a pretty good apprenticeship with Sifu Philip Lamb. Tony, how long, how many years? Um, let me think, would have been 14 years. Yeah, I started in 2004, uh, sorry, started in 2000 at the term of the millennium and took over in 2014. And apart from um, producing a lot of good fighters, you've also become known as a promoter of some note. Yeah, yeah, it was um, never really in my plans, but I guess it just came with the territory of, of running the gym that we had to put shows on and then found that I quite enjoyed putting the shows on and, and yeah, it was quite a good buzz, you know, organising the fights, getting, getting well-matched fights and yeah. Yeah, it must be satisfying. I, I, I talked to a lot of fighters obviously and uh, they are all mentioned the, the shows like King in the Ring, Knees of Fury, and now out of war is... is it's good to know that we're being... Right yeah, here. awesome. Um, yeah, to know that we're being mentioned alongside those, those big shows is, is good for me to hear. And we just plan to keep growing the show and um, hopefully getting some good opportunities for our, not just the fighters from this gym, but all the, the good fun fighters that we have in New Zealand. That is one of the things that you get uh, a choice of a lot of fighters from all the gyms around Auckland and further afield. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we'd like our country produces amazing fighters and I think that that the rest of the country should know about them, you know, like uh, they're not one of the mainstream sports that you read about in the paper or see on the news, but hopefully in time, you know, we will hear more and more about all the athletes. Well, you usually run three shows. We're up to out of war, what now? 14 now is the next one, and that'll be in April. Um, Lolo's going to be running a show in March, so I've left a bit of time in between so that some of our fighters can jump on his show and recover in time to fight again on my show. Um, Lolo training here, of course, and also Terry bachelor -Reed. Um is, uh, How does everything work? Oh, it's, everything's going really smoothly, yeah. We all work in with each other and, and able to help each other out where we can. Um, yeah, and it's provided different sparring partners for, for all of our guys. So it's been really good. You usually do three shows a year, is that the case again this year? That's, I've got three scheduled, yeah. Uh, last year I was very fortunate to avoid any of the lockdowns, so I had, I had my three shows just before, well the third time we didn't lock down, but the first two shows we had a lockdown the following week, <laughs> and so I was lucky, and um, I've got three scheduled this year, hopefully, um, hopefully we don't have any more lockdowns, but if we do, hopefully they're not any, any time around my show. You got a main event already organised? Um, nothing, nothing set in stone. I've got a few ideas. Um, I've got, yeah, some exciting news. I don't know if, uh, if okay, nothing set in stone, so I can't, I can't mention it yet. But we've got um, some good fights in the works for sure. Oh well, when you find out uh, who it is, oh, you'll be the first to know for sure. We'll come back and find out. We'll get it out of you one way or the other. <laughs> it'll be. So I can give you a hint. It'll be another a boxer crossing over and, and coming and doing some kickboxing. Um, so yeah, it's, it doesn't happen that often, so it's quite exciting when it does. Okay, we look forward to it, Tony. Hey, thanks for your time. Not a problem. Good to speak Cheers. to you. Cheers, Tony. Appreciate it, man.